Welcome to Syria. Hello everyone, I'm Thomas and today we're going through fantastic Syria. From its impressive historical sites to its rich culture and astonishing landscapes, we invite you to discover with me everything that this wonderful country has to offer. Get ready for an incredible experience full of history, traditions, and natural beauty in every corner of Syria. Hello everyone. I'm Andy and I'll be taking you on a tour with Thomas of Syria. Get ready to immerse yourself in the history, culture, and amazing landscapes of this fascinating country. Join us on this exciting adventure through incredible Syria. Come on! Syria Syria is located in southwestern Asia. It shares borders with Turkey to the north, Iraq to the east, Israel and Jordan to the south, and Lebanon and the Mediterranean Sea to the west, with the distant view of Cyprus from its coasts. Its capital is Damascus. The official language is Arabic. Additionally, Kurdish, Armenian, and Turkish communities speak their own languages. English is relatively used among people more involved in tourism. The currency of Syria is the Syrian pound, SYP. How much is one Syrian pound in dollars? SYP 1 US dollar 0 0.000077. The majority religion is Sunni Islam, although there are also Druze, Alawites, Shiites, and Ismailis. Christianity, Orthodox, Maronite, Armenian Catholic, Syriac, etc., is a minority. Syria is a fairly conservative country in terms of religion, and one should take care in dressing and showing respect for local customs. In Syria, a country in Western Asia, the climate is Mediterranean on the coast, with mild and rainy winters and warm, sunny summers, while it becomes arid subtropical in the vast inland areas, with moderately cold winters and hot, sunny summers. Therefore, summer is sunny everywhere, but the air is humid on the coast and dry in the rest of the country. In winter, cold waves from Russia can occur, affecting mainly the inland areas. During spring, and less frequently in autumn, Syria can be hit by strong southern winds, causing sandstorms and a significant increase in temperature. Wow, Syria seems very interesting. What do you think? Now let's get to the news. Come on! Current situation in Syria In practice, Syria is a democratic republic. However, the constitution requires the president to be Muslim and grants all power to the Ba'ath party, which does as it pleases. The Syrian government, now in conflict with its opponents, is corrupt, undemocratic, and extremely violent, as demonstrated by the violent repression of the popular uprisings in 2011. What economic system does Syria have? The Syrian economy is essentially state-owned, although it has remained partially private. The two main pillars of the Syrian economy used to be agriculture and oil. The crisis in Syria continues to cause tremendous suffering to both those living within the country and those forced to flee. The conflict remains the largest refugee crisis globally. Over 11 million Syrians still depend on humanitarian aid. The entire country is considered a risk zone, with all travel strongly discouraged. Transport, how to get around in Syria. Although traveling to Syria today involves hiring a tour, it is interesting to know that as soon as this is relaxed, Syria is an extremely economical country to move around. Long-distance buses charge one US dollar per hour of travel and are reasonably comfortable. What to see in Syria? Damascus, the Syrian capital, was the epicenter of an urban battle with insurgent forces, but fortunately, the historic center suffered no significant damage. The most affected areas are on the outskirts, where you are unlikely to have reasons to go. Tardis Beautiful historic port with churches and forts from the time of the Crusaders. It was the last Crusader stronghold in Syria, such as the Bayt el Bayt Palace. Perhaps due to the port, it is a more liberal Syria, with a large Christian community and abundant bars, and it was very little affected by the war. What are the customs of Syria? The Syrian fondness for traditional arts is expressed in dances such as al Sama, Dabke in all its variations, and the sword dance. Ceremonies to celebrate marriages or births are occasions for a lively demonstration of popular customs. What is the traditional food of Syria? 
In the field of salads, one of the most popular dishes is tabbouleh and faddish. There are dishes that include vegetables such as stuffed cucumbers, mosh, dolmas, kebabs, kibi, kibi neya, mujadara, and snacks in the form of shawarma and shanklish. The situation in Syria is difficult to visit at present. Now how about we go to your curiosities? Come on! Curiosities about Syria 1. A culturally diverse country with a rich history Syria is a culturally diverse country, the majority of its population is Arab, 91%, and the remaining 9% is Kurdish. Most Syrians are Muslims, with around 90% being Sunni. This cultural and religious diversity has been a distinctive feature of Syria for centuries and continues to shape the country today. Syria is the only Arab country with a secular constitution. Islamic law is unconstitutional. Impressive railway stations in Syria. 2. Syria is famous for its impressive railway stations, making it a popular destination for Shiite pilgrims from Iran. With intricate architecture and ornate designs, the stations are a sight to behold, with many existing for centuries. From the Grand Aleppo Central Station to the historic Damascus train station, visitors can experience a unique blend of traditional and modern design. These stations not only provide a beautiful backdrop for travelers, but also serve as a reminder of the rich history and culture of the country. 3. Before the current civil war, Syria was the only country in the region without internal conflicts. 4. In this country, a president is elected every seven years, and they must be mandatory Muslim. 5. March 15, 2011, is recognized as the official start of the war in Syria. 6. Up to 4 million Syrian children have lived their entire lives in a country at war. The current war in Syria began as a series of protests aimed at securing the release of numerous political prisoners, which triggered violent responses from the Syrian government, escalating the conflict. More than 12 million people have had to leave their homes, according to data from the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights. 7. Aleppo was once the largest city in Syria, with a population of about 2.3 million citizens. It was also the industrial and financial center of the country, as well as being declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Aleppo was famous for its 13th century citadel, 12th century mosque, and large covered markets or souks. All that remains are photographs. In this one from AFP, you can see how it has been completely destroyed. Well, these were your curiosities. Now let's go back in time and see its history. Come on! History of Syria Syria, located in the heart of the Middle East, has a rich history dating back to antiquity. Known as the cradle of some of the oldest civilizations, such as the Sumerians and the Akkadians, Syria has witnessed empires like the Roman, Byzantine, and Ottoman. In the 20th century, Syria underwent significant changes with the fall of the Ottoman Empire after World War I. Under French mandate, the Syrian Arab Republic was formed in 1946. In 1970, Hafez al-Assad took power and established a dynasty that continued with his son, Bashar al-Assad. Starting in 2011, Syria faced a devastating conflict with a civil war triggered by protests against the regime of Bashar al-Assad. The war involved various factions and attracted the intervention of regional and international actors. The conflict resulted in a humanitarian crisis, millions displaced, and the destruction of infrastructure. As the decade progressed, efforts to find a political solution continued amid the complexity of interests and tensions in the region. Well, this was all about Syria. Now let's get to some questions. Come on!
Thanks for joining us on this journey. Yay! I hope you've enjoyed the blend of history and charm. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and, of course, subscribe for more adventures. See you at the next destination. Bye for now.